Can you give me an example of a song that was from very low? Um, low, um, I suppose the, the song that... I was 15 when I first heard I'd Rather Go Blind by a band called Chick and Shack, and I heard it in the jukebox in Salt Hill. And I had just split up with my, my boyfriend. And we ran away up the river together in a rowing boat. Uh, from, we stole a boat from the college and we ran up the river. Well, we rowed, he rowed. I had, when I was writing so my so book. You're, you're, you're young for that? <laughs> <laughs> We rolled up the oh, river. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we had crisps in with us, and I don't know what else. We had peri crisps and a bit of sandwich, jam sandwich. And we got out at an island, and it got really cold. We were going to stay gone forever. That was it, like. And we came back down at the like evening. Like Neve Ushin. What? Neve Ushin. But my uncle had spotted us. He was going to college. And yeah. he spotted us jumping in over the, the rowing club and got, you know, in, in mm. the canal there. And he ran back to tell my mother. And then they went up to tell the nuns and then they went over to the bish to tell the brothers and Mary's gone up the, road, my, up the river of Michael Connolly and, you know, for God's sake, the guards and everything were waiting for us when we came back mm. down. And um, I was kind of, couldn't understand because both of us wanted to experience just the feeling of the spending. There was nothing going on. Mm. There wasn't even kissing, mm. you know, there was holding hands and maybe the odd kiss, but that was it. We both wanted to just feel what it would be like to just like spend a, an awful long time with somebody mm. to see what it would be like in the morning, if it would be still okay in the morning. Because yeah. I guess I hadn't had that. And uh, he obviously didn't either, but we didn't make it that far. We met about four hours yeah. <laughs> until it got cold. I found the song I'd rather go blind in, in the jukebox and I used to go out there every, um, whenever I had money and I used to just, he got sent off to boarding school. My father used to get off work every, every evening and collect me from school, put me in the bedroom to do my homework. So when I got out, I got um, down to the arcade, played the song and cry. Mm. Just, I used to hold on to the, the, the jukebox. And John Kearney was the manager and he said to me one evening, he opened up the youth box, he says, Mary Doherty, because that's my name, which ever just fuck off out of here. He says, you're really bad for business. Take the record and go home. Mm. And I still have it in this little hole in the middle of it. And that was the first time that singing, somebody else singing made me feel, I, I thought that they felt what I felt, you know. Can you give me a blast of it? I'd rather go blind. Mm. Oh. Something told me it was over When I saw you and that girl are talking Something deep down in my soul said cry girl When I saw you and that girl out walking I would rather go blind than to see her walking away from me. I would rather go blind than to see her walking away from me. It goes on. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Oh. There's kind of power in that like. <laughs>